Hello, everyone. I hope you are well. My name is Jason Zhang. Welcome to our presentation. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to share the research I did with my colleagues, Stefan Ottolani and Jivoli Vigna at Weiwei. As we can imagine, at this moment, when you are attending this talk, there might be some malware campaign going on somewhere. This could be an email campaign with malicious attachment targeting our customers or your customers. So the question is, how can we get alert on time about the malware campaign? What was the campaign about? When did this campaign happen? And which customers were affected the most and so on? So to answer these questions, we proposed telemetry peak analyzer. It provides a fully automated process to detect malware campaigns from threat telemetry data and generate alerts. It's all about making what is invisible visible in our everyday threat telemetry data in an efficient manner. Before we dive into the details, please let me briefly introduce our team. We are a team within threat analysis unit at WinWare with four researchers, Dr. Jivori Wigner, Dr. Stefla Ottolani, Sebastian Mariani, and myself. The team is led by Jivori, our senior director. Jivori is also a professor in computer science and was the co-founder and the CTO at Last Land before the acquisition by WinWare. As you can see, we are a relatively small team in a huge organization. The great news is that we are hiring. If you are a team player and have great passion for threat, for threat research, please do get in touch with us. This talk has three parts. First, let's talk about the challenges we all face today in dealing with threat telemetry data. Threat telemetry data is a gold mine with great value. It could also be noise with lots of garbage. So this could become a huge problem if we want to efficiently identify malware campaigns from such data. And then there's another challenge. How can we make our process scalable with the every growing telemetry data? These challenges motivate us to develop telemetry peak analyzer, which is based on a statistical and adaptive thresholding approach. We will dis discuss this in the second part of the presentation, which also includes a brief review on the th uh, on threat damage data and a det detailed discussion on the an analyzer architecture workflow and the, what is inside the black box, the actual detection algorithm. And then finally, we provide a instantiation with five types to demonstrate the capability of the proposed analyzer. The evaluation includes some actual malware campaigns we detected by leveraging the surges of detection of certain file types. This is followed by our scalability analysis and the installation and the use instruction of this open source project. So the motivation here is clear. We want to efficient make the invisible visible from a threat telemetry data. More specifically, we want to detect and alert on new malware campaigns. So what do we mean by malware campaign? A malware campaign is a organized connection of homogeneous malicious events or attacks, which could happen in a short period of time, which is reflected as a peak in the detection timeline. For example, there was an email campaign with weaponized PDF attachments, which targeted US universities on the 15th of April, 2020. So what we see here is an ideal situation. It is easy to detect a malware campaign like this because the telemetry only contains the data from one particular attribute, which is PDF file. No data from other file types. So the question is, what if the detection telemetry data contains detection count and other information from other malicious files like PDF, Excel, and the PE file? Because this is a more realistic situation we have today. So this becomes our first challenge. As we can see from this chart, we have detection telemetry from all malicious files, which reflects the real situation we have. So the question is, do we know if there are any campaigns in this data? It's not so clear. So what we see here is not what we want. To 
to get the peaks hiding in the in this data, we need to find a way to decompose this data into telemetry with individual attributes, file type in this case. And then we can possibly see some uh, peaks or campaigns from the data. For example, after we decompose the data into individual time series, we can see two campaigns from the data. One is PDF on the 1st of October and the other one was from PE file on the 9th of October. So this is kind of information we want to extract from the, from the actual detection telemetry data. And the second challenge is the value of delayed alerts is really limited. Alert only matters if an alert is generated on time. Otherwise, you know, the value is, is limited. For example, we want to write a blog post about a fresh malware campaign, like the four packs campaign. And to do that, we need to know once the campaign happened. And also we want to publish the story as soon as possible. Otherwise, it becomes really less interesting to the readers when reporting an old story. The third challenge is we face the scalability and the adaptability issues. Those issues are real. So of course you can say we can do minor search to identify malware campaigns from, from the telemetry data, but the process is extremely time consuming and it is not sustainable at all. Another way is to have a fixed threshold to detect anomalies such as malware campaigns or bulk false positives from some newly released detections. This might sound simple, but the threshold is largely arbitrary and it's really hard to maintain. Another approach one might suggest is to use machine learning or AI, but based on our understanding, whether it is surprised or unsurprised learning, it is not so straightforward in this case. And also the machine learning models require retraining over time to keep them up to date. So all those challenges motivate us to think a different way to identify malware campaigns from telemetry data. That's why here we introduce telemetry peak analyzer. Before we talk about the actual analyzer, let's have a brief review on telemetry data because that's where we are, we are going to extract or detect the, the malware campaign. So we need to first have some understanding about the data. So threat telemetry data can be seen as a composite time series. And for a given attribute or dimension, such as a file type, the composite time series can be decomposite into individual time series. For example, a file detection composite time series could contain two individual time series such as PDF and Excel time series as shown in the chart. As we can see, even if there are some uh, peaks from individual time series, the actual combined composite time series as the green line shows does not really show any clear peaks. And each individual time series has many events with additional attributes like file names, file hash, and detection score. And every single event can be uniquely identified by multiple attributes or keys. For example, a single file detection or submission event can be identified by timestamp and the file hash attributes. Let's take a look at a practical example. Dynamic analysis feed produced by our customer telemetry is a great instance of threat telemetry data. This telemetry data compromises different det detection timeline, one for each file type, and each event is further characterized by metadata, for example, the detected meta techniques. And um, multiple detection events can refer to the same file because the same file can be sub submitted by different people that will trigger multiple detections. And a single event is uniquely identified by multiple keys or attributes as we discussed, uh, dis uh, discussed earlier. The screenshot shown in this slide shows a typical example of file submission event from our customer telemetry data, which 
contains timestamp and the file hash to uniquely identify the, the event. And also the event contains other use, useful information such as file type and the detection school. So how can we use the proposed telemetry peak analyzer to identify malware campaigns from the telemetry data? Here is the architecture and the workflow of the peak analyzer. The process comprises two data window, a local short time window and a long time global window. So our goal is to identify possible peaks from the local window based on some statistical measurements as highlighted in those red boxes in the chart. For example, we want to check if there's any interest in malware campaign from the last 24 hours. Of course, you can always detect some peaks you know, from, from the data you have, but there's one challenge. How can we be sure that the detected peaks are meaningful? There could be multiple local maximums or peaks in the individual time series. And of course, we don't want to be flooded by many false alerts. So to minimize false alerts, we introduced the concept of a global window, which is a long time historical window we use as global benchmark to determine a meaningful peak from a local window as highlighted in those blue boxes in the chart. For instance, the global benchmark can be based on statistical measurements of last six months data. There's another challenge. The telemetry data we have today is dynamic. In other words, the data we've received from our customers is different every day. What was believed to be a meaningful peak in the past could lead to a false alert when our customer base has increased. Vice versa, what was treated as a less meaningful peak in the past might turn out to be a meaningful peak if we have less customers to generate telemetry data. This means that our goal, our global benchmark needs to adaptively reflect the, late, the nature of the dynamic telemetry data. To make the peak detection adaptive, we need to update the global window and the global statistical measurements every time when we add a new local window from telemetry. But we realize that recalculating the statistics from scratch in a updated global window is time consuming and it's not scalable at all. Fortunately, we don't have to do so because we note that every time when updating the global window, we just need to remove one local window data from the left side of the, win the global window and add a new local window data to the right side of the global window. And the most of the data remains the same between the old and the new global window. So, this factor allows us to introduce another important concept, a sliding window mechanism, which allows us to quickly update the new global statistical measurements using the previous global and the local statistical measurements. This is why we call it adaptive thresholding, so that you know we don't have to we don't have to you know use the same global window uh, for future data. The detection algorithm mainly comprises three steps. The first step is to load the global and the, and the local stats set as defined in GST and the LST table. In the second step, we do some comparison, which is to shortlist some possible peak candidates from the local window. And in the third step, it involves more thresh, thresholding comparison to finalize the detection logic. If one of the comparisons is true, we believe a peak is found. As we can see in the, in, in the chart, there are some weighting factors denoted as W1, 2, 3, and 4. Those weighting factors can be optimized depending on your application. We are not going to discuss the details of the equation shown in the chart, but if you are interested or you have, many, uh, you have other questions, please feel free to ask us during the QA session. This section is about evaluation of the proposed analyzer. Let's take a look at the instantiation with five types. So here our goal is to detect malware campaigns 
to do that, we want to detect the surges of certain file types and use the, the file submission time series. More specifically, the time series is from our customer telemetry data. Here you see a typical example of file submission event, which is shown on the right-hand side of the slide. As you can see, it has file, file uh, has timestamp, file hash, file type, detection score, and the other useful meta metadata. In the first example, we detect a four packs campaign. As you can see, there was a, a four packs campaign uh, launched on the 4th of November last year. And the four packs campaign is, uh, four, four is a botnet which is known to distribute a range of malware such as bit ransomware. Our peak analyzer successfully detected this, this malware campaign by detecting the surges of malicious zip files from the telemetry data. So in the lower chart, we can see the magnitude of the detected campaign. This campaign turned out that it targeted the university in the APAC region. We, we have a blog post about this. If you are interested in the details, you can go to the, the blog post link. In this second example, we detected two malware campaigns in the, in the first two weeks of October last year by detecting surges of malicious encrypted Excel file from telemetry data. One is Excel file, Excel 4 micro-based campaign and the other one is called a Wiblet Sweet Shop. Both campaigns were used to deliver other malware by leveraging some legitimate feature of Excel files. We also have a blog post about the detector campaign. And in this case, it's uh, for the Wiblet Sweet Shop. If you are inter interested in the details of the campaign, you can go to the blog post uh, published at WinWare. To examine the scalability of the analyzer, we have done some analysis. The charts show the execution time and the number of peaks we found from one data center from the end of December last year. As we can see that the execution time roughly grows linear with the number of peaks we found and the the maximum execution time took less than three and a half minutes, even when we detected about 20 peaks. And also we note that the number of peaks found is proportional to the number of daily events, even though this, those data is not included in this chart. So this demonstrates the proposed peak and it can actually handle data at scale. So if you want to give a try with the proposed telemetry peak analyzer, the great news is that we have made this open source. You can download, this, download the source code from GitHub or just use pip install to install the package. We also provide a test file uh, with real data to help, help your test. To test the analyzer for the first time, you need to run the analyzer twice. First, we need to generate a initial global stats table. And in the command, you can specify the start and the end of the, the global window. This step to generate the, the global stats table from scratch is only required for the first time. So once we have generated the global stats table, we can run the analyze to detect the peak, peaks and update the global table with new telemetry data on the fly as shown in the second run command. So here's the simple demo. In this demo, we first generate the initial stats table as we discussed uh, and we use the first three days from the test file uh, from the 1st of November. And as we can see from the process, it creates a global stats table and saves the data into a JSON file at the end of the process. In production, of course, we would like to use one month of historic data or more to generate the initial global stats table as benchmark. And then we run the second command to detect the possible peaks using the, uh, the data. Uh, on the 4th of November from the test file. As we highlight in the process, it loads the global stats table generated from the first run and uh, successfully detects a zip archive based malware campaign from the 4th of November, which was the 4 picks campaign we already discussed earlier. And at the end of the process, it updates the global stats table on the fly to make sure the global stats table is adaptive to new telemetry data. 
So this is to just to show you how you can test, you know, with the peak analyzer. If you have any question on the package, please feel free to reach us. Here is our conclusions and the future work. As we know, it is important to know some valuable information hidden in our threat telemetry data, such as what malware campaigns we detected, which customers and sectors we affected the most. Do we have bulk false positives from our detections? So to answer these questions, we proposed the telemetry peak analyzer, a statistical and adaptive thresholding approach. The analyzer deals with composite time series telemetry data to automatically and adaptively detect malware campaigns at scale. In the instantiation part, we demonstrate the capability of the analyzer to detect malware campaigns by detecting surges of certain file types. In the future, we plan to extend it to other attributes or dimensions such as threat labels, dynamic behaviors, and network events. Currently, we have separate peak analyzer instances running across different regions and the fields. In the future, we plan to, to merge the state of the instance. So this concludes our presentation. Thank you. I'm happy to answer any questions.